y'all welcome back to my channel where we talk fashion and beauty for women over 30 if you're a woman over 30 and you enjoy fashion and beauty subscribe you might also want to go check out my website which is curatedcloset.com where I sell clothes shoes and accessories for women over 30 you can also click the link that'll be down in the description box to sign up to get emails and text messages about new arrivals sales and exclusive discounts like the new arrivals that are that are up on the site today Today I'm going to walk you guys through some really easy summer outfits that I've put together. Some of the things you've seen before either in previous hauls or I've styled them um, in previous videos. And then there are some items that I've purchased recently that I have not shown in videos and that I obviously haven't been able to style and wear because we're still on house arrest. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw all those together today. I put together some really cute looks so let's go ahead and just get into these. As always everything will be linked down below. So this first look is this kind of dad sandal. I call it Disney vacation look. The pants are these knitted joggers. They're from Zara. You've seen these before probably in my Zara haul. I've had these for a few months now, but I've not styled and worn them. So I just paired them today with this black tee. The t-shirt is very trendy. It is a take on the kind of muscle tee that's been popularized by the, um, I think it's called the Jesse T, Frankie T. That's what it is. The original shirt is like $75. This is like I said, a plate on that style. I got this from, I want to say nasty gal. And I think it was like $20. So I got it in black and white. I just paired it with these joggers for this look. And then on the bottom, I just added my dad jeans, dad jeans, dad sandals that I got from top shop that some people love and some people hate. I love them. They're comfortable. I like them with this look. And I just put on some black matte hoops just to pull the whole look together. That's that look. Y'all can let me know if you are feeling the dad sandals or not. There are some other variations that are out right now which have the Velcro. I'm real hesitant, but some of them are super cute. So I might be adding those to the summer shoe collection. Next up, we have this same black muscle tee. That's what I'm going to call it. It has the padded shoulders and it has like a muscle tee look. So I'm going to take that and pair it with just some solid black skinny jeans. These jeans I want to say are from H&M and I love that they are solid black. They're not like a, a black wash. They are black black. These are super comfortable, a lot of stretch in them and I just paired it with this top so we have like a black on black look. I think that's really sleek and pretty and I just put gold jewelry with it. I think it's the same jewelry I'm wearing right here just to give it a little bit of accent. And then on the bottom I have these really trendy mesh pumps. Yeah, that's what you can call them. Mesh pumps that I added um, just for a little bit of something. I really like this look all together. No, I didn't add gold jewelry with this. Hold on. I just added these really big silver earrings with this look. Just the contrast of the silver up against the black shirt, I think adds a little something. And the jeans also have silver hardware, so I wanted to play that up a little bit. And then on the bottom, I added these really, really trendy mesh pumps. I show these pumps and I want to say a shoe haul that I recently done. Again, everything's going to be linked down below, but I haven't had a chance to wear them yet. And I do like them with this kind of look because I feel like everything up top is kind of really simplistic. And then you hit them with a little bit of style and trendiness on the bottom with the shoe. So this is another look that I love. If the shoes are too much for you with something like this, you can always switch out the shoe for like a solid black pump would be really cute or an open toed heeled sandal would be really cute. There's a lot of variations that you can go with if you don't necessarily like the style of this shoe. I know it's a little bit trendy, so everybody might not be on board with that. For this next look, I took these paper bag waist jeans and I showed these in an ASOS haul. They are from ASOS but I kind of covered up that feature with the white tee. So this is the other version of that Frankie T kind of knockoff that I got from um, Nasty Gal. This is just the white one. And with this t-shirt, you can either pull the shoulders out, kind of like have them look wide and broad, or all I did was took my fingers like this and I just tucked them under like that. And it gives the t-shirt that boxy kind of look. So I just took the t-shirt, put it on that way, tucked under the sleeves, and then I just knotted it in the front. But what I did was pulled it down over the paper bag waist of those pants to give it a little more of a streamlined look. Cause I felt like the paper bag waist, the t-shirt, all of it was like a little bit too much. It's like you're trying to throw every trend together at once. It was a little too busy. So I covered it up. 
So I like the white up against the green. I think that's really, really pretty. You can go with a lot of different accessory options with something like this. You can do a rose gold, you can do um, gold. A lot of different options are available when you kind of pair that contrasting kind of forest green with the really stark white. And then on the bottom, I just added these white mules, which are again, really trendy and kind of a knockoff of um, a Proenza styled mule that's been really popular. I got these from, from Topshop. I really do like them. When I first saw them, I'm like, those look like old lady granny shoes, but they're super comfortable, very trendy. And you can dress them up and style them as you see here. So I really did come to love them. I added the gold jewelry with this look. So I thought that was really pretty up against the white shirt. Real simplistic look, but very comfortable and also very trendy still. So you don't always have to sacrifice stylishness for comfort. Um, and this is a look that proves that. So I really, really like this a lot. Super cute, versatile look. Brunch, this will work. This will work on a day date. A lot of different places you could uh, rock this outfit and have it be totally appropriate. So these are the jeans in this look that I got from I want to say pretty little thing or either boohoo I can't remember but these have that split hem that's really popular they are kind of this hair on my lip they are kind of high-waisted but I like that I wore these recently and then I have since washed them so it did help a little bit because they were like super long and really kind of loose when I first got them if you go back and watch that video I'm gonna link it up here it's like the jeans haul you can see that they fit a little bit looser so I do like that they did kind of draw in a little bit and shrink just a little bit when I washed and dried them in the dryer. Still love the look of them. They're still very elongating, very long, I'm sure. So that's why they hit the way they do. And on the top, I just added this pretty little thing bodysuit. It's an off the shoulder corset style. This I featured in my last video, which was a pretty little thing haul. It came with a matching skirt. I'll link that video too if you haven't seen it, go watch that one. And you can see the whole outfit together. But this is real pretty because it has that kind of mauve pink color in it. And then it also has the blue, which I think ties in really well with the denim on the bottom. For shoes, I just simply put on some clear mules because we're going to keep it simple and not stress out about it. The clear mules always come in handy. The clear pumps always come in handy. The clear strappy sandals, all of those <laughs> always come in handy, especially with a look like this where you got that busy, busy top going on. So this is another really cute look. I think it's very pretty, very summertime appropriate, a little florally, real kind of girly and feminine, especially with the off the shoulder detailing. And I really do like both these pieces a lot. So that's why I love a two piece set because you can mix and match. So I'm getting extra wear out of this two piece set. This is a boiler suit and it's from H&M. And I want to say it's really the same boiler suit as the denim one I have which people were trying to find and it was selling out like crazy I want to say last year I still have that one as well but in this particular instance I wanted to style the kind of khaki green boiler suit it's real simplistic it's just buttoned down the, the front it has a belt and then it has like elastic at the waistband so you have that kind of gathered look down at the ankle at the waistband it has elastic at the ankle so you kind of have that gathered look at the ankle. It's a little more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tapered. It's a little more tapered of a look. So to just freshen up the piece and dress it up a little bit, what I did was I paired it with these white lace up shoes. I love these. I think I got these from Ego or the pretty little thing. I can't, or Lulu's. I can't remember. I'll link it below. Like I said, but these white real simplistic lace up sandals that have a little bit of a square toe to them. Added those on top. Again, you have that contrast. It's kind of similar to the forest green pants from ASOS and the, and the white top. Similar color palette. You have this khaki green and then you have that contrast of the stark white on the bottom. And then to just bring it all together a little bit more, I just added the white bag. This bag is a knockoff version of the style of the Proenza bag. Yeah, it's the Proenza bag. And it has this kind of real bunched, kind of slouchy look, but it's really, really pretty, I think. It's real trendy, and it does go with a lot of different types of outfits. You could style it up or down. So real pretty with those shoes. And then I just added gold jewelry, gold earrings, just to bring the look together. But this is another one of those simplistic looks because it's just the one piece, and you just dress it up or down, basically with the accessories you add to it, the shoes, the handbag, the jewelry, etc. So real, real, real cute. 
I love this a lot. If you don't want to go for the lace up shoes on the bottom, you could always wear a simple pair of white heeled sandals. Um, and you could still do the same type of look with the bag and the sandals, but you don't have to go as trendy as I went if that's not your style. Still the same thing I feel like with accessories and jewelry, you can dress it up with gold, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Make it your own, make it yours. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe as well as go over and check out the website curatedcloset.com and sign up for alerts if you want to be alerted via email or by text. Also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Watch these other videos that are going to pop up on the screen for you guys. Remember to live well and look good doing it. And until next time y'all, bye.